Another meeting between the leadership of Parliament and Uganda Human Rights Commission is expected to take place within the week after today's flop. The meeting did not take off. Well, as the chairperson came with the two technical staff, she did not come with her commissioners. Uh, from the communication, a copy of which I received from the speaker, um, the invitation was for her and her commissioners. Parliament resolved last week to have the commission conduct another inquiry into the missing persons despite an earlier inquest by the commission on the matter. There then arose the need to restore the confidence of the opposition who accused the commission of asking the families of the victims to negotiate with the government for a financial settlement. Wangadia told the media that she was tired of the false claims about the missing persons. The opposition had prayed for a judicial commission of inquiry instead of a repeat probe by the Human Rights Commission. Meanwhile, a joint committee of Parliament on Human Rights and Defence and Internal Affairs are yet to start their probe into the alleged abuse of the rights of the fishing communities by security personnel. So tomorrow we expect their terms of reference to be issued. Um, and therefore will be able to follow up how they are going to execute that obligation. Weighing in on the latest sanctions issued by the United States against the Commissioner General of Prisons, Johnson Riyabashaija, Mpoga said this should be cautioned to others that they can be held accountable. If you are prisoners and they bring to you a suspect tortured, you do not accommodate that suspect. The fact that they have not come out not to really accommodate and accept um, accommodating tortured victims, the reason why they must account. Mpuga confirmed he had been copied in a letter from the Attorney General seeking audience with the judiciary on concerns about persons remanded beyond the mandatory period. The National Unity Platform Party maintains that the incarcerated persons are political prisoners. Jackson Onyango, NTV.